Let's go thrifting! Okay, so our first stop is Dirt Cheap. I haven't been here in a while, so I wanted to see what they have in store, especially when it comes to spring clothing and spring shoes because that's this is where I usually get all my shoes wow. from because they're very, very cheap. And so that's going to be my main focus, but I'm also going to keep my eyes open for bedding because I would like to layer a bed. Even though it is spring, I do like the look of a layered bed because it just looks really nice and lush and rich and everything in between. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go inside and see what they got. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, Joy. Look, they still have Christmas stuff and fall stuff. Careful, are you okay? Hold on. Look at these Christmas trees. They're cute and all, and I'm like, I'm tempted. Should I get them? Should I not? Um, why do they have these? <laughs> I don't think I need these. This is basically just me trying to hoard Christmas stuff if I get it. So, but I think I can get socks. The kids always need socks. The little rainbow socks here. And then there's this color bubby. These are cute. So I think I'll get some socks for the kids. This is a good one for Judah. That one too. Cute. Okay. These might just be worth getting. I think it's like two for a dollar or something. Yeah, the five dollars. Hmm. Three to five are a dollar. So this glass tree is only a dollar. And I'm thinking about doing that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get these. They're cute. Too cute to pass off. That's not bad. I just don't know if I want to buy sheets. I do need to though. Oh, do I just spend $30? $30. I might regret this. I might regret not buying them, but it's good. OMG, I found the mother lo load of wool rugs. I got the dining table, dining room rugs from here. Look at this beauty. 100% wool. And then look at this. This is a Studio McGee rug. And they're so reasonable. They're so cheap. I might be getting a rug today. Oh my gosh. Unfortunately, our car is too small. They don't fold over. But I'm thinking I'll send Shane back to come get this one. My Studio McGee. Absolutely love it. It is... What is it made out of? It's made out of 82% wool and 18% nylon. It's pretty soft. So good. Hello, how are you? 
Hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. This pottery is so beautiful. Look at this beautiful wooden piece. I cannot pass this up, but it is gorgeous. You can put snacks in here. It's perfect for plating. Love it. Love it. Story of me. Take a look at this. Stonewall. Very traditional, but it's kind of like old world as well. I like that. That's pretty beautiful. I'll put it here and I'll be, you know, I'll keep looking at it. I might just take it. Let's see. I love it. Okay, I hope this angle is working, is fine. Um, I'm going to try to give you a quick haul because um, I'm not sure if the, if the battery is going to last too long. So uh, we're going to start with Dirt Cheap. I'm going to show you everything that I got from there. Ooh, I actually forgot the slippers. I'll get those in a little bit, but let me get started. I found some socks. I actually got two pairs. I'm not sure if you saw me filming that, but these were, I think 25 cents for both pairs which is awesome and these are kids socks I think this is a top yeah the dollar target brand so perfect if you're looking for kids socks and even adult socks they had a whole bunch I just needed two pairs and then I found my son some interesting shorts and I got these for three dollars so they're fine you know he can play in these especially during the spring and summer I think he'll he'll like that and I also found him some denim shorts that he's wearing right now, so I can't show those to you. Then for myself, I found some workout gear. Um, these pretty leopard print leggings were only a dollar. Wait, were these a dollar? Yes, these were a dollar, and I really, really like them. They are in a size medium, and the brand is Wild Fable. So these will be perfect to work out in in the spring. And then I wanted to kind of just like have some like workout gear that I can wear outside when I'm taking my daughter to school in the morning because I don't want to like full on get all glammed up in the morning. So I found, interestingly, I found this uh, cropped hoodie which says Black Panther. And I thought it was just so cool. It's a really cute cropped hoodie. And this was $4. My husband likes it too. So I think that, cause this is his type of style. So I'm sure he's going to be really excited when I put this on. And then I found some house slippers. They are in the, I did a, what did I do? I did a fashion video before this one. And I told you that, um, Oh, you brought the shorts. <laughs> These are the denim shorts that I got for my son. These were $2. They are pretty good. They're Cat and Jack, so love these. Yeah, what was what was the color? Was it, yeah, electronic green. I think that's what it's called. If I messed it up, I'll put it down here. But I really do like how they look. They're nice and fuzzy. And these were only these were only, I think, 75 cents. So can you imagine, if you can imagine, originally they, they marked them down at th for $3, but I got them for 75 cents. And I'm so excited. And you need to see the slippers because the slippers were even cheaper than this. My uh, slip-on, sorry, let me move this back. They were even cheaper than these. So go if you have a dirt cheap nearby, I suggest that you go check them out right now while they're having sales. I think you're going to love what you, you know, you're going to love some of the things that you find. I also got my kids um, these beach toys because, you know, just in case we go to the beach this year, my kids love the beach in the summer, going to the beach and so I got them these, they were a dollar each and it's just a snow and sand play set. So you can even use it in the winter time, so perfect. And I'll put these in the bag. 
And then, before, before I show you the slippers, because I need to go get them with the sandals, yeah, I found some stuff in the Christmas section. Wasn't really planning on getting any Christmas. What's the matter? Oh, here are your shorts. Here. No, he needs to take a bath. Oh, he needs to take a bath. Okay. Yeah, he went, which is yeah. good. All right, sorry. My son's in the background. Sorry about that. We're going through some toddler problems. <laughs> toddler difficulties <laughs> but anyway um, I, I wasn't planning on getting anything in the Christmas section I I hope you don't mind hearing the screams in the back yeah uh, but I did find some really cool Christmas items that I, I I had to justify getting these because they're so cool and they are you know they're just a few Christmas ornaments <laughs> if I should say so so anyway the first one is this glass tree and it is it was originally five dollars at Target but it was being sold for a dollar at dirt cheap and so I was like you know what this will be perfect to use um, for Christmas this year and then I found a small one as well this one is like clear glass this one is green glass sorry about that I'm so sorry I'll, I'll try to hurry yeah so I got two of these I think these will be perfect in my to add to my Christmas vignettes this year and they're nice and modern because I'm the nice and modern so I think that will make my decor pop even more because I have tons of vintage Christmas decor and then I found this one as well this was a dollar it was originally five as well but it's this like black um, do you call this ribbed glass yeah black ribbed glass it's a black ribbed tr tree and I love it and then I wanted to pair this one with this green one glass tree as well so two dollars for those there were two dollars all together and then I found these beautiful velvet green ones they're like a far forest green and I absolutely love these as well so this is all I got for Christmas. I didn't want to overdo it because I do have tons of Christmas stuff right now. And then I found these little pots as well. And these were a dollar each. I am going to put in some succulents in these. I'm probably going to transfer, transfer my succulents and put them in these pots instead. So I like, you know, the juxtaposition white and black works really, really well. And now let me go bring my slippers, right? Sandals, I should say. They sandals, slip-ons pumps you you see them let me bring them right quick okay I am back and I want to show you my slippers so <laughs> I found these heels let's just I don't know what to call heeled slippers let's just call them slippers yeah I found these beautiful mauve they're like a light bubblegum pink mauve type color absolutely love these they are in a size 11 because I'm tall and I have large feet and you will not believe how much I paid for these. These were only 25 cents. Can you imagine? They are by the brand A New Day. Love their, uh, their shoes, their footwear, and clothing. They're very, very good quality. You'll find them at Target in case you're, you, know, you don't have a dirt cheap nearby. But dirt cheap usually has a lot of their, this brand's products. So, love these, 25 cents, can't wait to style these, especially in the spring and summertime, they'll be perfect. And that's everything that I found at Dirt Cheap. I would, would have loved to get the area rug um, yesterday, but our car is too small to be able to, for us to haul that with us, so. Um, because hubby works in the area, I'm hoping that he'll be able to pick it up for me. Sometime soon, maybe as a surprise. <laughs> He's listening right now. He didn't know, I didn't tell him about it, but yeah. Watch this video, babe, so you know which one I want. And I'll give you the measurements and everything. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Um, at the thrift store, well, at the thrifting place that I go to my thrift stop or spot, I found quite a few things, mostly homeware. So, if yeah, mostly homeware. The first thing that I found was this fabric. It's actually like a tablecloth and it's a really really nice heavy cotton and I was thinking that I might depending on how big it is I haven't really checked I might end up using it as reupholstery fabric or make curtain out of it or something or I could just use it as you know the original tablecloth it's very nice and thick and that's what I love about it 
be great for styling, you know, tablescapes and whatnot. So love that. And then I also found this stuff, a lot of this stuff I'm going to need to wash. Yeah, I also found this beautiful, is it a cauldron? It looks like a cauldron, but it's not, I don't think it is. It's just this beautiful pottery that is by, this one doesn't have, I thought I saw a label on it. This one hasn't been marked, but it is just this beautiful chocolate brown um, little pot, like ceramic pot, and I absolutely love it. It'll be great to put like soup or gravy in here. It is just perfect. And then especially when you're styling your table, it is going to be so, so cool. And then I also love that I can use it just to style, you know, like my shelves or any, something like that if I'm not, you, you know, just have to have it on display. I think it'll work out perfectly. And then I also found something else that is pretty similar to it. And let me take this out. This is, ooh, it's going to break. I found this jug. It is a little bit lighter. It's more of like, this one is a little bit more like coffee. It's kind of got some reddish undertones, but this one is by, it's by Mark. I can't really see. I'll have to put it on screen. It's stoneware, it's oven proof, and it's mar Marxism. I don't know if it's Mark, Markrest, Markrest or something, but really, really love this. It is so, so beautiful, nice and substantial. This will be great to have on display as well, but also to use um, maybe like when I'm pouring heavy drinks, like, you know, like big drinks or something. Is there, is that a word? <laughs> yeah, anyway, now moving on to the next item that I found. I found this beautiful vintage Victorian, um, is it a lantern? Yeah, I think it's a lantern or candle, you know, it's it's like a lantern because it doesn't have like anything for oil or anything in it, I don't know. But I thought this was super cool. It comes with this, um, it comes with this colored glass top and it was originally $49.95 where she got it from. She didn't pay that much, I'm sure, but she sold this to me for a dollar. Love it. And actually both, you know, the stoneware. I think oh, the jug was two dollars and the cauldron was a um, dollar and this was a dollar. Just look at how beautiful that is. It is fantastic. The patina, who called? Cauldron. Cauldron? Cauldron. 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 These Americans, man. <laughs> oh, he's trying, just what? I, I can't say anything right as long as I'm here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, cauldron. Cauldron? Good. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the next item that I found. I think I showed you this beautiful vase. This isn't usually what I gravitate towards, but I liked how interesting it looked. This is definitely something that I'm going to be styling possibly maybe on the balcony or I could use it in the kitchen. I think it would be great to hold um, wooden spoons. I think this would be really nice to hold wooden spoons, make it look nice and interesting. But you can also put like flowers in there. You could use it as a regular vase. But just really, really loved that. Thought it was just so, so pretty. And this one is not marked either, but it looks like it's handmade. So I love this, it's nice and organic. And then I found this wooden, um, is this a clover? It kind of looks like a clover. I think yeah, that's what they were going too, for. I feel like it's too rounded. It's, it's too rounded, but hey, it, they wanted to make it look seem a little bit more organic maybe. But I just love the shape of this. This is a serving tray. And so you can put snacks in there when you're serving with it. I think it would be really, really nice to have on a tablescape as well, especially uh, when we're hosting. And so I really love this. It's substantial wood. So this was $2. And lastly but not least, wait, do I have more in there? No, I have two more things. Another one that I found is this. This is HB. He made this in 94, 1994. So it is vintage. 
very very cute candle tea light candle holder a ceramic stoneware tea light candle holder so I think I, I had a theme going on this time it was like stoneware inspired very earthy very rustic yeah theme going on and I absolutely love this and I think it's going to really ground my glass you know my eclectic space because I have a lot of glass going on and a lot of like modern looking you know mid-century modern going on right now so this is definitely going to ground it the rustic elements are going to make it feel a lot more grounded and down to earth and I just love that and then lastly but not least I found this top this is kind of like a bohemian top but I got this because of the heat here in Texas summertime spring and summertime can get pretty hot and I think this silhouette is going to work perfectly and I'm just going to like cinch it in the waist in order for it to suit my body type a little bit better my, my body a little bit better Shane's watching from behind <laughs> why are you judging me yeah and that's pretty much it so I'm going to go ahead and end the, end the video right here because we need to be heading out in about 30 minutes and so I will see you all next time I hope you enjoyed thrifting with me I had so much fun and um, if you had fun watching this video make sure you give it a thumbs up so that the algorithm can show it to more people and it's definitely going to help my channel out and if you haven't subscribed Go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I, we'd love to have you um, in our family as part of our community. And I hope to see you all again next time. Have a blessed week. Bye.